to Missy Elliott. And of course, this is my crib. Missy Elliott is a four-time Grammy award-winning rapper, producer, and songwriter who became the first female rapper to ever be inducted in the Songwriters Hall of Fame late last year. Of course, with her successful career, she's also been able to buy some gorgeous properties. We'll look at where Missy has called home over the years, including a mansion in Virginia and a luxury condo down south. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Missy's music has always pushed boundaries within the industry, and she's released some of the biggest songs of all time, like Get Your Freak On, Lose Control, and Work It. Missy is a paragon for success, where many other artists ultimately struggle and fade away into obscurity over the years. Missy is a different sort. Even after over two decades in the industry, she's still highly regarded as one of the OGs, selling over 30 million records in the US, and making her a force to be reckoned with, with an estimated net worth of close to 50 million dollars. Missy Elliott has always defined herself with her unique one-of-a-kind personality, so it only makes sense that she's found a series of homes to live in that complement who she is. For instance, there's a gorgeous condo that she once owned down in Florida that even appeared on MTV Cribs. And a gigantic mansion in her home state of Virginia that she bought for her mother and where Missy spends a fair share of her own time. What's going on guys and girls? It's Kara here for you with a brand new house tour, this one taking a look at a series of homes owned by Missy Misdemeanor Elliott herself. Do you think she still goes by that nickname? I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. Anyway, Missy has been around for basically my entire life, and I'm still as big of a fan of hers today as I was in the late 90s and early 2000s. I suppose you can say she really worked it to get where she is today, and on the type of real estate properties that she does, so I'm gonna give you an inside look at a few of them. Be sure to let me know what you thought in the comments down below, and follow me on Instagram as well. All right, let's get into this one. Let's start things off with one of Missy Elliott's former properties, an unbelievable condo she once owned in Aventura, Florida. Missy first purchased the home back in 2002 for 1.3 million, right around the same time she released the track Work It. What's up, y'all? Welcome to my second time on MTV Cribs. I'ma just take y'all around and show y'all how I work it. Uh, I see what she did there. Hey, when you're feeling yourself, you're feeling yourself. What can I say? This 4,740 square foot home located on the 19th floor features four bedrooms and five bathrooms that look a little something like, wait, hold on a second. The front doors to her bedroom look like what? I wanted to get the submarine type feel. We're gonna go ahead on the head. Okay, well if that's just what the doors look like, I can't wait to see what the room itself is like. And I love Ferrari, so I got a guy to make me a king size Ferrari car bed. I'm sorry, I'm just having trouble picking my jaw up off the floor. That bed is insane. Although I gotta say, I really hope that front hood pivots another few degrees, or Missy's gonna break her neck trying to watch that TV. Everybody bathroom the same, same toilet, you do the same thing in a koozie, tub. That's a pretty beautiful marble bathroom if you ask me. In fact, the entire place features marble flooring throughout, along with four terraces that offer up amazing panoramic views of the city through floor to ceiling glass walls. Then there's the living room with its Lamborghini furniture. You heard that right. Missy not only got Ferrari to make her a bed, she got Lambo to whip her up some couches. Now, this is my favorite chair. And yes, that chair did feature a fish aquarium for armrests. The home also has a media room, which Missy uses for her work memorabilia almost as much as she uses for her free time. Finally, there's a fantastic kitchen with a center island big enough to eat at, not to mention some snazzy flat fronted wood cabinets and the type of high grade appliances that one expects inside the home of a celebrity. What's less expected is the overall quality of food that Missy keeps. And y'all can see how a poor person lives. That's how a poor person lives, right there. I'm right there with you, Missy. Diets suck. In terms of what type of amenities the building offers, well, it's 32 floors with 172 units, 24-7 valet, concierge, and security services. There are three on-site restaurants, a 27,000 square foot spa facility, a private marina and yacht club, 16 tennis courts, and a heated pool and spa area. Sounds like enough, I thought so. Despite how unbashedly Missy this place is, I tried to feel powerful for a female. I felt like having this big Missy with the water coming out. 
Missy actually sold this home a few years ago back in 2014 for 1.45 million after initially listing it for almost 2 million. Let that be a lesson to you. Customization is nice while you're living in a place, but it sucks for resale value. All right, let's take a look at Missy's home in New Jersey next. This is going to be a quick one. Besides a view of what this estate looks like from the sky, not a whole lot is known about this 6,300 square foot property. What I can tell you about it is that this home is extremely well secluded. I mean, just look at that satellite photo. The home is surrounded on all sides by very dense forests. In fact, it's so dense, I'm honestly getting a spooky vibe from this property. Seriously, even I wouldn't want to spend a night there alone. I mean, the acreage itself is massive, coming in at eight acres total, but that's just too much space to be by yourself in if you ask me. Missy reportedly picked up this home in October of 2000 for close to 1.2 million. Finally, let's take a look at Missy's current primary residence and the home that she bought for her mother, a gorgeous 14,223 square foot estate that features 25 rooms total. Right through the front door is an impressive foyer that has smooth marble floors and comfortable looking furniture to collapse in after a hard day's work. Now we're in the inside. You can't have carpet when you walk in a house, so you gotta come in here with the marble floors. Much like her Florida condo, Missy has made sure that anyone who enters this place immediately knows who it belongs to. Let's just hope that doesn't hurt the resale value as much as that last sculpture did. Not too far away from the entrance to the home is Missy's office, where she says her mother handles all of her business. You gotta do the office up right. You gotta have a big chair. You gotta feel like the big dog sometimes. Definitely the desk of a boss. In addition to the beautiful office, Missy also keeps a conference room nearby where she displays a lot of the souvenirs she's collected over the years that spell the story of her career. Next up is a room that Missy claims she never spends a lot of time in, at least not back when this video was recorded, the gym. Oh yeah. I'm looking real small right now. From the room where Missy spends the least amount of her time to the room that she probably enjoys the most. Let's take a look at Missy Elliott's ballroom next. It practically screams class with its off-white finishing. Then there's the classic baby grand piano that ties the entire room together. Just make sure you don't eat the food in there unless Missy tells you it's safe to do so. What you don't want to do is come in here and eat one of these grapes because you will leave sick because they are not real. As nice as that ballroom is, it doesn't hold a candle to this one that is Missy Elliott's indoor swimming pool. This watering hole is gigantic and features classically sculpted Greek statues adorning the pool side that really give this room a Mediterranean vibe, despite being located smack dab in the heart of Virginia. As for why she got herself an indoor pool and not one outside, I'll let Missy tell you. I can't be in no two-piece bathing suit outside. My neighbors would really bug out, so if I do it in here, I'm good. Missy's kitchen is our next stop. It's a pretty timeless design with a lengthy marble countertop, gorgeous wood cabinetry, stainless steel appliances, and a medium-sized centralized island. And much like with her condo in Florida, opening Missy's fridge is always a bit of an adventure. This milk's so old. <laughs> I don't advise none of y'all to drink this. We got the fat-free stuff in here, and you can tell this is not my side of the refrigerator. Yeah, now this more like my side. Nothing but two cakes, cookies, a little bit of champagne, a lot of drinks. When you're ready to sit down and eat, Missy has a decidedly unique dining room table for you to relax, featuring individual glass settings and a massive aquarium nearby to keep you entertained just in case the conversation ever lags. On the other side of that fish tank is the living room with beautiful hardwood floors, glass doors that lead to the outside, and uniquely shaped furniture to say the least. A quick ride upstairs on Missy's private elevator takes you to her equally private screening room. As I've already mentioned, Missy shares this home with her mom and here's a look at her bedroom. It's a pretty timeless room with a fireplace installed in the middle of a wall that separates the sleeping area from the ensuite bathroom. Speaking of bedrooms, Missy's own room matches her mother's pretty closely, but of course it has its own unique touches like a Versace bedspread. You got your bed, Versace bed spread. Finally, the last room we're gonna take a look at is Missy's self-titled Nasty Room. A mirrored wall sitting area where she can be alone with her, well, let's call them guests. And you got your little date, you wanna, you know, do a little nasty with your mini man, whatever. 
You can shut the door, nobody can ever hear you. I don't know what I love more about that clip, that Missy has her own hookup room in the house she shares with her mom, or that she called her potential suitors Minutemen. Stuff like that is why Missy will always be considered one of the real ones. Alright guys, that's gonna bring our Missy Elliott house tour to a close. What did you guys think? Which home would you prefer to live in? I'd honestly be good with either the condo or the Virginia Beach home, as long as I wasn't staying in the New Jersey place by myself. Anything but that. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I love hearing from you and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye!